So today we're going to do a Brella matchup chart for both variations of the regular Brella, and I am joined by... Chara, hello! So we're kind of going to have sort of a discussion video about it. We're going to talk about Brella, how it fares in fights against weapons in the game, what's good, what's bad, why is it good, why is it bad, that kind of deal. A lot of discussion. I'm going to have timestamps in the description because I went ahead before and I ordered the weapons by weapon class, so we're going to kind of go by classes. We're probably going to start up here with shooters and then work our way down. So we're, we're going to end up talking about everything by the end of this. That'll be fun. Normal juniors where we're starting. Sure. How, do we, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? Um, I think Junior is good at not dying to Brella. I don't think Junior is good at fighting Brella. Mm. Uh, it just doesn't really have the kill time. But, like, it's if it can live, because Junior's abnormally fast substrate fly, so it makes Brella a bit less reliable at killing it, but like purely matchup fighting wise, like if a junior's forced to fight a Brella nine times out of ten it's gonna lose, I'd put it at like plus two for Brella. Mm. The kind of weapon that's good at harassing Brella from a distance for a teammate, but if it had to yeah. force a fight against it, it's very, very rough. The best you can do is kinda Yeah, like it can it can bomb shenanigan or armor can help it cheese the fight, but even yeah, then it's it can, rough. It can bomb armor, move around and not die, but it's not gonna kill the Brella user most of the time, like unless it has some form of outside help. Yeah, and I'd say it's... I'd say custom junior is even worse because it has a the bomb. I don't think auto bombs that helpful against brawl at all. And yeah, I think Ran, it's kind of slow. And Ran, Ran is nice because you can't block the damage, but I'd say being able to take an extra hit from Brella is a lot more valuable. So I mean, I, I'd say just another plus two. Yeah, I think the thing with auto bomb against Brella is when you roll a spot bomb behind a Brella and near a Brella, that kind of forces them to react, but auto bomb is such a slow moving bomb, and even that's damage is only okay on Brella, it's not like a suction tier damage if you throw it at it. I yeah. definitely think it does worse than normal junior. I don't think we're gonna like order any of this within the tiers themselves, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get like that particular about it. K Junior is weird. It lacks a bomb completely. Like, the only way it can win the fight, in my mind, is if it has bubbles. Outside of that, it can harass me with Torpedo, kind of similar to how Normal Junior throws a bomb behind me, but that's about it. The main weapon can't fight Brello. Yeah. I would say, though, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell because K Junior normally doesn't fight without bubble anyway, mm -hmm. like, too often. And if it has bubble combo, you can't really do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, because. Bubble yeah. goes in the shield and you'll die anyways. So. Yeah, because the thing with Torpedo, when you're fighting Abrella as a Torpedo user, you want to throw the Torpedo above or behind it at a really awkward angle. So they're yeah. forced to turn around and shoot it. So, like, if they have bubbles, I mean, you just I... don't don't contest it at all with Abrella, and you'll be fine. That's really it. I'd say you could argue it's plus one because bubble combo, like, the Abrella can't really fight a junior when it is bubbles, but the K junior can't really fight the Abrella otherwise. The yeah. Abrella's not really going to die to bubble combo unless it's like stuck having to take that fight i'd also say bomb rush deals with single bubble combo fine with torp because the bomb will just break the torpedo and it won't damage the bubble so uh i'd personally say minus two but i mean uh, yeah. plus two but you can say plus one i think it just falls into that weird like situation over on paper it's like without special you never win the fight ever but with special yeah, but you with have special, an option yeah. but that's kind of the rule with brawl on 10 in general like a lot of weapons lose to this lose to brawl slash 10 but if they have special they can start to fight it kind of thing mm -hmm. But the main yeah. weapon torpedo alone is not gonna cut it. I think that falls through with V Splush as well. Literally, no option to fight the Barrella. I'd say V Splush and Neo Splush are both immediately just in plus two. Just no lethal. And it's bomb better kill time than the juniors, but just... like, there's no bombs, so yeah. Splush seven, seven I, like... I find it annoying. Mm, I'd say it's plus one purely because hammer. Yeah, I don't. So I don't think it's good. bad. It's just obnoxious because you have lethal bomb, broken frame data, and hammer is like the trump card there. It's, yeah, it's, it's difficult it's to two shot level. it, but it's it's still good because it's a baby gun at the end of the day. If you like walk backwards and strafe it out, it's fine. But if it yeah, gets awkward, like, awkwardly on top of you, it's rough. It's fast enough with a good enough kill time. It has the same good bomb against it that Junior does, but it also just damp win is pretty useful because you just can't really yeah. kill stamp the shots are just way too big it gets eaten so and on top of that even, yeah, if you, even if you space yourself like well against stamp any hitbox of stamp breaks brella and 10 shield like this is universal there's no avoiding that yeah i think these shots an easy plus two again in the case of kind of baby-ish gun no lethal bomb and splash down on its own is not going to do anything to brella really yeah i'd say two or one i lean two uh, uh t -tech. I don't I don't think Pack is bad against Brella, but I don't 
I don't think it's like one of the main specials that'll deal with it. Like Brawl will usually just stall, not die from pack, and then bomb rush your landing. So yeah. I wouldn't say it. Yeah, I'd say it's probably not going to do any favors here either. I think it's the thing where Jetpack can be good against Brawl, but T-Tech's still a kind of a short range shooter, and Brawl just naturally excels against it. And like it has a lethal mm -hmm. bomb, but like I don't, I still think Brawl wins. Like it's probably better than V-Shot. I'd, I'd probably put it here. Splatter, Splatter shot just takes so goddamn long to break shields like even with the 36 damage you'll be a bit better mm -hmm. but it still feels so much slower compared to like splash zapper 52 yeah and that's kind of that's like the big... i mean because 52 is 52 and zap is bomb, so mm -hmm. because that's kind of the and... distinction right ever since they buff suction's damage to 220 suction against brawl shield's excellent so like, yeah, you, you really better. feel the difference between t-tech having its bomb against brawl yeah, and k-shot i do i do two or one for t-tech or k-shot Shot I do shot I do one for sure. Missile's gonna force you to drop shield, suction does mad damage. Yeah. So. I, I think for what you would expect from a shooter, K shot has the options to kinda, you know, either harass the brawl from a distance with bomb to help its teammates overwhelm it. You know, it, it has options yeah. for that. It's not gonna ideally want to fight at one v one, but you know, yeah, shot's ain't, tools. shots ain't efficient enough to like actually be able to use suction and be get suctioned on your shield, it's a winnable fight, so and then I'd say missiles are just good against it. So yeah, I do one. V splash, I just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Baby gun, no bomb, plus two. That's no cat, this is the rule here. Yeah, it's less range than splash shots, so it's just yeah. Neo splash I'd say is plus one. Yeah, like Nurse Bomb can still tick damage around the shield, but splash is also kind of red it's not as fast as Junior and Sploosh, but it's, it's better than it's like Splatter Shot 52, it's, so. It's still a lightweight weapon, so that helps it move around. I'd also a lot. say I'd also say like a hard part is just suction rush can really overwhelm yeah, Brella. That's a big you part. You just of can't it. stand anywhere with shield. So I mean I I'd say suction rush is huge against Brella. It's mm -hmm. just you can just fight it using suction rush. Yeah, like if if we're talking like Splash is more baby gun than V shot, but first bomb splash. Like, first bomb of the splash main weapon itself isn't anything too crazy for Brawl to deal with. It's really like that suction rush that kind of pushes it over the edge. Like, yeah. sometimes you just have to give them the space. It's still a fast three shot with MPU, so I'd, I mean, I'd say it's still perfect. I don't know if it was just the gun by itself without the suction rush, I'd probably say plus two, but yeah. the suction, I'd I mean, say, because splash, like, if you're a good splash, you'll probably have suction rush for a good amount of the fight, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely the B splash then. I think, uh, I think yeah. I'm at 85. This is like a weird one. Uh, Meta defining weapon. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, it's two or one, but it's just. How much do you want to factor in the suction armor? I'd say, like, it doesn't get it that much compared to stuff playing like Junior. I'd say it's. I put all. I put Zap. I put all of them in plus two, honestly, but 85 you could argue for plus one, but I'd say the other two are non negotiable. Yeah, because I mean, Autobomb 80, and Sprinkler Rain, yeah. 83 has absolutely yeah, no kit to help with Brawl, uh, Autobomb's And 89 does not. 85 I'd say is up to you, but I, I'd i say I'm leaning more towards 2 than 1. I'd lean to 1 just for the sake of armor, and the suction lets it have the options to kind of overwhelm it if it's with a teammate. Alright, that's fair. Because it's still... It's, 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 like. <laughs> That's like weird, right? Because it's also a lightweight weapon, so it's also like it's not junior tier of hard to kill, but it's like more difficult to kill than you would imagine. Which yeah, is kind of, kind of annoying because Brawl needs to kind of like hug someone and two shot them ideally in a lot of matchups. Yeah. Okay, Gal. Um, I mean, I'll get my take on this because I've been fighting Galves a lot with Brella. <laughs> I think Brella, Brella with Object Shredder can sufficiently deal with Booya and Wall. Like, I think if you're really good with your shield flaring, you can stall out wall and then push the gal out of position. It'll just take a lot of your ink tank. It's one of those extended fight weapons, I feel that way, about CDS, where neither yeah. of the weapons will ideally kill each other if they're willing to lame it out. That's really... Yeah, but pretty much. But I'd say, like, the, the Brawl has more power to force the 52 to back up at least a little bit in most situations. Yeah, can I'd we... say where it's more arguable is with Booyah, just because Booyah can eat Bomb Rush. And Bomb Rush is really great for pushing against 52 normally, but then that's what they have Booyah for, so I'd say that part can kind of cancel out. Brella also can block Booyah for situations and swim away without taking damage, and it's not too bad against a special. So even though Kegal like, is ridiculous at fighting everything with Wall and Booyah, 
I'd say it's arguably still Brella's favor, just very slightly plus one. But it, it's hard to say. Like, I think it's plus one if the Brella plays perfectly. Yeah, that's... And the gal can afford to make much more mistakes that's because they don't have to worry about ink management or bit their like... wall as much and they have panic. <laughs> Bitliku by nature, or KP2 specifically, it is, it's such a low risk power weapon, it creates so yeah. much space by itself. Like, I, I think it's perfectly doable for Brawl. Like, I agree with that, but it takes yeah, a lot hard. of work. If you mess up at all and you, like, take the one stray bullet that you really don't want to take, then you have to work so much harder to not let them finish yeah, that kill. Yeah, basically. Like, that like, and I'd say you need Object Shred or a bit of mobility to close gaps, so it's, like, also kind of your dependent fighting it with a main saver build or, like, a charge up build will be a bit harder. I mean, arguably, you could say charge up to deal with the wall more, but then they just boo you. 52 can run charge up and not give a crap, or Brella actually cares what it runs, so. I'd say plus one Brella, but I mean, this is like barely, barely. Yeah. If the Brella is a god, Kinda... it is plus one. But if the Brella makes a slight mistake, it's an even matchup. I'm kind of inclined to put it in even just because, like, it's. You need to work very, very, very hard to make it good for you. Like, it's just very yeah. easy to mess up. And you kind of are weapons that sit in a similar range pool, so, like, it, it feels... It feels like a very delicate fight a lot of the time. But that, that's where it can, so I think the other gals, so it's, like, mm -hmm. easy when Brawl, like, no lethal bomb on either of them, and you sing around gal. And Baller, yeah. Brawl is one of the most anti-Baller weapons in the game, so I, I think this, yeah, this is, I like, definitively plus, plus two. I mean, they're no more... They're kind of annoying compared to Splattershot, but, like, nah. If you're willing to play it early, early so I never super struggle with them anyway, right? Because, like, Gal has yeah. a thing where the longer you shoot, the worse your RNG is. So if you kind of eat a few bullets with the shield reposition, their RNG is probably going to be worse kind of thing. Like, I, I feel like you if think you're about... willing to dance, it's good. Yeah, that's fair. Well, 96... The thing about 96, is especially with MP damage, is it kind of... Actually damages Brella Shield quite a lot. Yeah, and it's had really a... threatening to get hit by it because then a bomb, like the outside of a bomb, can kill you because most 96 are running MPU damage. So it means like you take one shot, even if you pull up shield afterward, you get hit once. And there's a bomb next to you, you're still dying. Mm. And then the thing can actually shred shield, so you can't just sit there shielding it forever too because you'll actually take good shield damage since they. They like almost doubled it in a patch a while yeah, back. Yeah, I, do, I so. do remember that patch and thinking that was kind of. I mean, it was kind of. That being uh, said, enough, but... that being said, if you close the gap, it's GG for the 96 you see. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing with this, right? There's a lot of well, weapons in this I'd game say... that are good at harassing Brella from a distance and helping their teammates, but in terms of, like, if you're playing Both vanilla them... 96 against a Brella raw, like, that's that's tough. Like, <laughs> that's bad. I'd say Bomb Rush isn't particularly great against either of the 96s. It's not bad either, it's just nothing special. Do you think the wall makes a significant difference at all or no? Uh, not really. Guy. It has it has splashdown instead of armor, mm. so yeah. yeah, I don't know. It can't really. It's also a bit more ink hungry than fifty two, I think. So yeah, it's actually much more. Even if it walls, like if you stall out the wall, it's gonna be out of ink and have a problem. I'll shoot her at the uh, end of the day. I will. I'm fine slapping every arrow spray into plus <laughs> two. I mean, yeah, I you can wall that, up Brella with the special, but Brella can wall it out every other I, time, and if it's a special battle, it can fight it. So. The only notable thing here in my mind is that this one has the suction. He's yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, but even though it's yeah, way it's too the little damage for me to care. Cannot... I'd say Curling Rush is the only thing that makes me maybe think to put Arrow up one, but like mm -hmm. even then, nah. Like, Curling Rush can stall Brella out a lot. It's yeah. genuinely threatening, but like... I don't think that's anything special against Brella. I think that just Curling Rush in general is stupid. Mm -hmm. Uh, pros. Uh... I'm of the opinion that the V pro is a plus two. You have no lethal bomb, the weapon has no mobility and bad ink efficiency. Well, yeah, V pro two. I think it's just hard to tell for the other two. It does have a bomb, and Booya to survive. And potential two shots, not. Yeah, the two-shot with the lethal bomb has me a bit more... And then the other one has better lethal bomb and bubble. Like, even without special mm -hmm. power, the bubble can still just high, won't yeah, die. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the thing where you have a suction on a high damage shooter. So, you know, after mm. the suction, it probably only takes, like, a couple bullets to break the shield. Yeah, I I still don't really have any trouble fighting pros, so from my personal experience, I'd put it in plus two. Yeah, But I you can argue it's plus one if you want. 
I, I personally don't struggle against any pro players, personally. I think its weaknesses are super defined, so it makes it really easy to close the gap when you find the right opportunity. You just have to really respect like certain things like the two shot, the lethal bombs, and bubbles, obviously, but that's every weapon mm. has to respect that. Also, it's also ink hungry, so I can't really focus yeah, lethal bombs too I, much, so I, I'd say too. It feels like the thing where if they throw a lethal bomb at you and kind of walk backwards and they keep shooting at you, they're gonna run out of ink. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're too bad. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, like these push tiers, that's why I'm like kind of inclined to put it more like along the tier of like Gal. If we want for maybe we should just add a small plus three tier to put a few of the weapons that could fit. Oh. Yeah, just do a plus three. And then I'd say just put C Junior, Neo Sploosh, the other two arrows. Not that arrow, that arrow could be plus two. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, this is good. That's better. That, that looks more accurate. It'll change his color for sake of consistency. Yeah, that looks better. Is that yeah, a, uh, and then just, just put the pros in plus two then, I think, and yeah, that looks about uh, right. I, I don't think they're too bad. Yeah. I, oh, Jet! VJet has like no option for Brawl on my mind outside of like its kit. Yeah, but weapon. here's the uh, here's the thing though. For C Jet, not VJet. VJet, yeah, 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 VJet. I'm thinking like your C Jet has burst bombs and good bit of mobility to not die to Brella, and then mm. Ray just screws you because <laughs> shield does not matter and you're a slow weapon. So I would do. Egypt, I would probably do plus one because the main weapon, even with Verse Bomb, can't fight it super duper well. But the Ray and the Ray spam is really just gonna mess you up during the game. Russell, and I'd say it has enough range to where it can properly space out. Bro. Yeah, that's that's a big thing, right? A lot of the mid range shooters, it's easier to close that gap when they when they miss up, but like. Yeah, Jetta's burst bomb is still back. pretty damn fast for its range. So like, if you're fighting like a C Jet, like across the middle, like snapper on Albacore, like good luck closing that gap against <laughs> that. Like that's rough. Still a shooter, so when you get on top of it, it's fine. But yeah. you, you have to work pretty hard to get there. Also, oh boy, Dooley time. Uh, it's uh, it's time to break <laughs> Dooley players' hearts. <laughs> I mean, Brawl is one of the definitive just best Dooley answers in the game. Yeah, even when peak was... Dooley meta was a thing. Honestly. Besides Gluga Deco and besides Gluga Deco and Squelchers, I would put all of these in plus two or plus three. Yeah, kind of, I, I don't kind think of any of the other Dooley is really a much of a chance. So I mean, I guess Lightning Round V yeah. Gluga three. V Gluga three, no bomb. This has a physical armor at two. least. Uh, yeah. And free can't do anything outside jetpack, so it's free. You have uh, I'd bomb. say Pure Dooley and K Dooley can be plus two because yeah. suction baller yeah. and missile burst bomb is pretty useful. I think the dapples are terrible, so <laughs> yeah, I just see, put the, them in three. these are plus three. The best I can say for you, for Clapple is torpedo. Nah, I, I would guess, still put it. It's still I'd bad. still put a three. <laughs> like Tetra, uh, no, no Tetras, bomb. I'd do two. I like, do two for Tetras. They're like not. Tetra? Tetra has spacing capabilities, and it can use its bombers to reset its ink tank and pressure Brella. I'd put Tetras in two. They're solid fighting weapons. It's just the Brella should just be holding shield against them until they use four rolls. Mm hmm because then you have full second defend lag. Because that, that's like the trick with duelies, right? For people who don't play Brella, is um, outside uh, of Tetra, like, outside of Tetra rolling and shooting at the same time, duelies have a very defined period while they're rolling where they can't shoot. That's like where you get the free shot. As well, they're, they're also just reach. slower. Duelies are also just slower and generally more ink hungry than shooters. So yeah, they have, like buff the efficiency, track. but the thing is like they had that one patch where they buffed the frame date of every shooter by like a few frame. Duelie never got any of that, so Duelie feels like yeah, funkier by comparison. That's either. Oh roll. yeah, definitely. Uh, um, that's, that's Luga ball. is just a glorified fifty-two as. But its survivability option is wall instead of booyah, so it's not... I mean, it's uh, baller instead of booyah, so your special counters the entire kit. Mm. I would... S I don't know, it's still really annoying to wall out with more range, so I'd... S I'd say it's plus two. I think it's like, the kind like, of like how fifty two like how fifty two I would personally put barely in plus one, I would mm -hmm. barely put blue guns in two. I'd say it's very close to plus one. Yeah, I think but just... not not quite there. If it had booyah, I'd put it in plus one. I still lean to two because the weapon's committal by nature. Like I'd lean to put fifty two higher because fifty two can just get really lucky and jump two shot you sometimes, like that kind of thing. Luca can't do that. Like Luca has to commit to a roll to like kill you quickly ever. 
but it kind of leaned it. But it's definitely like, yeah, it's like the upper echelon of like, if you're willing to just play behind the wall, the Barla can't really approach you that easily. But at the same time, you really can't do much to them. So it's kind of just you stare at each other funny. Okay, so what do you want to do with Squatchers? Because my philosophy is basically whichever one has control is not going to die to the other because Squatchers can just back up. I wanna, I wanna, Unless if you have mobility, Barla, but... I want to stay here I'd... just because it's such a deadlock. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd say Mobility Brella has the tools to close the gap more often than Squelcher does. Like, Brella can still pick fights with Squelcher more than Squelcher can pick fights with it. So, personally, mm -hmm. I'd do plus one. You think? What about, like, putting the normal one in plus one in the custom and even? I don't think it makes a difference. You, if, you, if they use a bomb, you just stall yeah. them out and they lose. So, I would put them both in plus one. I don't, I don't think either of them, like... Yeah, that's fair. They're not really that bad matchups, it's just when they have map control, you can't really kill them. Mm -hmm. And even when they're defending, if they want to roll away and not fight you. Like, those weapons just have the perma option to not fight you unless their positioning made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of content to just sit back, not worry too much. Whereas, like, even if Brella has control, a Squelcher can't push a Brella. Like, even if the Brella's in a too bad spot, because the Brella can stall it for years. Yeah, so. especially with the ink efficiency nerfs, because I feel like a lot of fights that they would try and do before, that, like, you know, maybe barely lose, became fights yeah. that, like, they run out of the ink and we both just, like, back up and be like, okay, nothing happened. Even just... lighter no safer <laughs> Brella can stall it out, and I think so. Yeah. Rush. I would put... A weird I'd put case. normal Brush. Even or plus one. I'd say Ink Brush Nuvo would arguably be even. But Perma Brush and V Brush I'd put at plus one. I think Brush like has a very similar distract not die mode. It's just hard to kill a brush. Mm -hmm. And the brush the brush can kinda struggle with killing the Brella, but it has such a fast fire rate that even with like good shield flare, you're probably gonna take damage. And then Baller is Light Baller, which is a lot harder to deal with than normal Baller. And Mines are still guaranteed damage for the Brella, even with the shield. Yeah, I, I would say Nuvo even, where I'd say the other two, Flashdown I don't care about, and Sprinkler I don't care about. So I would put those in favor for Brella. I put, I think Nuvo's fairly even, honestly. Yeah, I think, I think Nuvo is, I think Nuvo is kind of a good example of like, Brella's kill time isn't necessarily bad. Right, but in this game, if you don't get like a clean two shot, it sometimes feels like your kills take too long. And I feel like having a weapon that takes a bit longer to kill against a weapon like Inkbrush that has like that very small window when it's like like not overextending necessarily, but it's like doing something risky. That if like if you miss that with Brawl, like it's gone. Like you miss you miss the moment. It's, just, it's doing whatever it wants now. You have to like accept that. You can't just like click and point at it like a lot of weapons. But I, I feel like the routing I can agree with. But yeah, like Perm has no bomb and like this one has a bomb but no special like i think baller lets it extend into places that are kind of more risky for it to do but, like, I, I, I just think ink brush new folks kit is like perfect for the kind of main weapon it is like i love the kit on this mm -hmm. thing yeah it just works with it really well octobrush okay i gotta talk for this one <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was gonna say you have a lot of experience i, on both I think i think regular brush and okay i think nuva brush is Plus one for the Brella because it doesn't have a bomb, so I don't really. You can just shield, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I think regular brush is even because it can actually kind of play around with auto bomb a lot more than auto weapon, so it still applies some pressure. And then Octo Brush, I think, is fine against Brella because it can still pressure it really well. If you have to respect it, it can play more range to where Brella's a three shot while still being able to do decent damage with the brush. You can flick over shield if you're really close enough. And I would say K Brush is a negative matchup because suction. We'll break the shield, hammer will destroy it, and then the main weapon itself is still completely fine at fighting it. I might be biased, I play Octobrush too, but I mean, I I'm also a Brella player, so. I, I can I'd say Octobrush's kit absolutely counters Brella, and the main weapon is pretty even at fighting it. But I'd say Nuvo's kit is just terrible. So. Yeah, it doesn't really have the option to annoy. And I think a big thing about Brush. Ah, it's a bit of a beak. Uh, I, I think the. I think a big thing about Octobrush is it's one of those weapons that like likes certain map positionings that the Brella does not really want to contest super well. You know, yeah, like higher it, elevated areas where it's like tricky for the Brella yeah, to play. Yeah, it is kind of map dependent. But like if the Octobrush is, if it's a map with slopes, the Brush will just control space better. Yeah. If it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, I, I think like, at least applies, the Brush user knows what they're doing. I feel like that applies yeah. to try when we get to that later as well. You want to speed run the rollers? <laughs> 
How, how do you feel about the rollers, Talma? Uh, I don't care about... Mm, I don't care about the regular rollers or the flingses. I'd say the carbons and dynamos have some interesting matchup stuff, but I think regular roller doesn't have any way of breaking shield. It's too slow to flick and kill the Brella before it pops up shield. And I'd say Flings a Roller is basically the exact same thing. Just, I guess it kind of has a timing mix up with Flicks, but at the least, I'd the say both are, of them are. The I'd say both of them kind of lose. Yeah, I'm inclined to say Flings are just slightly better just because of the fact it has a neutral option. Like, like if you're playing like normal Roller, yeah, you don't, you don't really just... have a neutral option. Brella can just run it and it'll be fine, or it can bomb rush it and it can't vertical flex, so I think the kit kind of destroys Flingza, and Autobomb's good because it's a slow weapon, so I'd say... I'd put all of them in plus two. Every single one of them? Uh, all the reg and Flingzas, yeah. I mean, maybe you could argue K-Roller with the bomb combo with the bubbles, but like it doesn't have an approach option, so it should be pretty linear more than K Jr. So if K Jr. is plus two, then K Roller is definitely plus two. Yeah, because K Jr. also has like the lightweight wrap. I mean, the roller there. just roller if you ambush if you ambush kill the Brella, you'll win. But like that's the only situation where I think Roller has a big advantage. I feel like that applies to, like every weapon. Yeah. Like, you could, you could say that about the shooters, too, so... I'm, I'm honestly inclined to put Crackon in plus three, just because, like, Beacon... Yeah, I'm fine with that. ...against, like, one of the best, like, anti-baller weapons of the game. Just, I, I literally... If you're playing Crackon against Brella, like, I, I genuinely don't know what you're supposed to do. Carbon. Now, Carbon is plus fast enough to kill Brella if it messes up. And it's fast enough to kind of get away from fights and be kind of hard to hit. I would still say it's Brella's favor, but I would say it's just one for Carbon Deco. Red Carbon, eh, I'd, I'd probably still put it too, because it doesn't really have much of a kit. I don't think it does much. What, what's notable to me is the Carbon Vertical is fast enough that if the Brella's like hugging a bit too closely, then like you can like vertical over the shield in one shot potentially. Yeah, that too. That, that's a notable thing, because like the other rollers have like such slow verticals, the Brella can just like straight out of the way and be fine. Yeah, that'd be fine. The Carbon's actually too fast. I, I think Dynamo's funny, because like. It has it's like okay. it's it has so much startup and end lag that that's like perfect for Brella. Like Brella loves fighting weapons with defined periods of end lag where it could just freely like shoot at them. And Dynamo has that. Like I feel like the only times I die against Dynamo is because they get like some wonky RNG above my shield and then we'll trade. Okay, yeah, but honestly Dynamo can just horizontal flick over shield whenever it's near it, and Dynamo players never do that and just complain and flick directly into the shield over and over. Yeah, and no, they should they should they off. should be shooting above, like that's what I mean, like yeah, I know, but nobody. Every time I fight a Dynamo, they just flick at the shield, and then I will see Dynamo player complain about Brella Shield being too hard to fight, and never just flick two inches above it. You know, like just shoot up, and if you miss, like it's Dynamo. It has bad RNG sometimes. I like that's life. I don't think the matchup is as bad as people think it is, but I think there is a lack of evidence to see how reliably Dynamos could flick over Shield because a there are no top level Dynamo players in the Western scene right now and there haven't been for years and b yeah there, i mean just a there's none of those and then b there's not <laughs> enough data from like to tell how reliably it is regardless even best case i would still say it is at minimum a plus one you think the kids but... make any distinguishing difference here between the three variants Ray is annoying, Armor and Bomb are annoying, Booyah Bomb is annoying. I would say K-Dynamo is the least annoying because it uh, isn't a big deal and its special isn't as bad, whereas the first two have annoying subs and specials, so I would personally do K-Dynamo 2, the other two 1. I can agree with that, having a strength thrust yourself uh, If Dynamo players oh. don't learn how to flick over shield, all of them can go straight into plus 3. <laughs> but I'm gonna assume that Dynamo players will flick over the shield. In an ideal world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not to be overly insulting to Dynamo players, it's just what well, I've it's, seen it's just, from it's just Twitter. Thing, right? like, uh, it's just what I've seen from Twitter. Umbrellas are not a common matchup, so I just think it's... They haven't... I think Dynamo's Umbrellas are both just so uncommon weapons that there's just not enough matchup experience for Dynamo's to know this. And I just know this because I've done plenty of JP scrims and Japan had Dynamo's before Expo existed. Yeah, it, so. it is funny to me when you can tell someone doesn't really know a weapon matchup. Like when I see a, 
a short range shooter struggling in a 1v1 against Bro and they start jumping. I'm like, that, yeah. that, that, that's like the last thing that's going to help you. That's going to give the Bro the cleanest shot on when you land. I don't understand. I uh, well, we finally have bad matchups now. <laughs> uh, can, 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 we get, can, we, can we talk about this one first? Uh, this one upsets me. Just get it in minus two. <laughs> uh, the, the existence of this weapon. Uh, Hard counter. Because Becca. When I first shot Brawl, Charger didn't have a damage multiplier on Brawl, so it was times one, so it was like whatever, and Bamboo wasn't played back then, it had 80 damage, but they buffed it to 85 and the multiplier became times three, so even before the MPU era, Bamboo's could two shot a Brawl shield consistently at like, in a yeah, really- And then I got MPU, and one yeah. charge would do like over half the shield damage before they nerfed it, it was like, this is just not fair at all. <laughs> yeah, and th this is a weapon that charges like, what, like 20 frames or something like that? Absurdly fast yeah. It's a lightweight weapon. It has so much more range than you. Even if it's not fighting the brawl necessarily, if the brawl's trying to take a fight against like a shooter, which it thinks is five, if the bamboo just pokes around the core and shoots the shield, the shield's gonna like snap. Like it's awful. They like, are this fast. Weapon is they miserable will... to fight. They are fast. They will one shot the brawl user. They will three shot the shield. They are lightweight. The regular one has missiles and a free escape option. The second one has missed, which is actually good against brawler. For longer range weapons, because you can use it as an anti approach, not for short range stuff. Burst Rush is genuinely threatening for a Brella user, and then Bubble Combo and Fizzy One-Shot Shield, if you shield all three of it, so... They're all good against Brella, they all have good kits against Brella. Oh, no, if MPU just, didn't exist, it would be a minus one, but because MPU yeah, exists, I think it's minus two for all of them. If it's not MPU Bamboo, I would say it's minus one, because not as much shield damage, and you can't one-shot the Brella user when it messes up, but oh, we, we, we live in MPU world, so... I also, I also think of note again uh, about this is uh, Brawl's stronger maps generally tend to be the, the flatter maps, and that kind of applies to Bamboo as well. I feel so a lot of the times yeah. when you want to play Brawl map and you think like this is a good Brawl map, and then you fight a Bamboo, it could be it could be rough. Like you know Piranha Pit, Kelp Dome, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's the other thing. I, that's a good point. Like Brawl, like Bamboo is good on the same maps Brawl is, so it's really easy to run it to counter the maps you want to run a Brawl on in particular too. This big um, all around. I think it's the worst charger matchup by far. Yeah, I'd say reg chargers are nowhere near as bad. I just put them yeah. in. Oh, okay. It kind of depends because three subs MP break shield, which is a lot more threatening. Fuck you, fire fin is a minus two or reg charger because wall and ray. However, I don't think it's that bad. And forcing chargers to have to run extra bit of gear is kind of the free downside for them. So I would say minus one. Like they'll their existence will annoy Brella because they can't stand and hold a shield up. It, it's like basically getting hit by a bomb for free, which makes the matchups like all slide a tier or two upward for every single other weapon in the game. And if it runs MP, then I think it's really good for it. I think I, I mean if you're against a Brella as a charger user, like I know Brian runs a main power up set for fighting Brellas, so I mean I'd say yeah, I'd say minus one. I don't think it's this bad. Mostly because the weapon doesn't pain too much, so. I think it's I also. I think it's kind of uh, easier to run it down. It's a. Uh, yeah, boost the fastest charger in the game in terms of charge. It lacks the range, sure. But I feel like when you're fighting a normal charger, you know, there's a very defined period of cooldown. You know, like they either miss a shot, they hit your shield, and you react and go from there because you have basically like almost a second to react and then re like reposition or something like that. But bamboo is like. Mm -hmm. it, it feels like they just shot you, but then they'll just shoot again. Like uh, like, you can put the K no chargers. Period. You can put the K chargers there too, because Baller is kind of nice for keeping them alive again yeah. in this matchup. I mean, you could debatably call it even, but like it's still a charger. I'd say like the Firefin and Red Charger are close to minus two, while K Charger is a minus one that's close to even. Like its kit is way less oppressive, but it's still a charger. So I'm tempted to put it's a tier. <laughs> it's, it's still gonna keep you from playing the game. Uh, uh, don't put another one. Yeah, like, I, 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 I shouldn't, but just to just to clarify the specific is like it, it. I don't think highly of this weapon at all. I don't think it's good, but it, by nature of being a charger and having the same main weapon as these, like I, I will this put it up here. This is exclusively for its position against Brawler. Yes. So I still this weapon's still garbage. Don't get me wrong. I, this uh, thing, I Reg E leader, I kind of think is arguable for minus two because partial charge to break Brawler shield, which people do not abuse by the way. It's, it's, I, I don't know why, but people just don't read patch notes. Um, mine reliable damage against Brawler shield. E leader tap shots do mad damage to Brella Shield. Like if it's in close range, it like three or four tap shots break the shield. It's dumb. I also think. And then rain is reliable damage. 
From playing against Ice, I think it's honestly a minus two. It pressures Brella reliably from longer range than Charger, keeping it from holding shield. It's a guaranteed break even without a full charge if you partial enough. It has mines for guaranteed damage in close range. Tap shots can actually break the shield and mine is guaranteed damage. I would say it's minus two, custom E-leader minus one. Yeah, I can agree with that. I definitely think E-leader is one of the most obnoxious weapons to fight as Brella. Just because like, it's just, even if they don't hit your shield, it's just like the, the, the threat of it alone. Like even if they don't shoot my shield, they don't break it, whatever. I'm, just, I'm still staring at them kind of paranoid like every time I want to take an action. I like, feel like if it's an E-leader in a flat map, I am forced to play flank the E-leader the whole game because yes. if I stand with my team, I will just lose my shield every single time. I, know, I, I don't particularly enjoy the game of... Uh... It, just makes, it just makes Brella's playstyle way too linear to have to counter leader. Like if mm -hmm. it's a good leader user who doesn't die to Brella like by abusing mines and stuff. And from my experience, yeah, that makes it really hard. Yeah, custom E-leader is not as bad because... It, yeah, it's kid, a kid, not, it's just not. Yeah. It, it still has the same strength as the cross the map. It just, it just snaps your shield and like, mm -hmm. I, I, like, I, I guess there's shenanigans it could do with like the beacon. If it, like you're, if the brawl like manages to close the distance, you don't have the mines. But if you have a beacon somewhere, you can like, just like leave kind of thing. But like, mm -hmm. it's the, the 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 normal leader is just obnoxious for brawl to fight. Skipping goo, I mean, uh, skipping Swiffer because it's hard. I put goos in even because goo does have the damage to break shield, but it's such a slow charge with so much less range that I feel like Brella can amplify fight it. Yeah. Neither of the kids feel that relevant, honestly, because if they throw a bomb, they then have to charge. charge up a shot. So, yeah. eh. I, I'd say they're both even. Like, it's just the threat of sharking like a shooter, but with a charge shot because mm. it holds it for a while, but like, eh, it's not fun. I'd say it's even. Also, main power does boost the damage on uh, partials too, yes. Yeah. So I, I guess still it, gonna, it still won't break the shield in a partial. That's just an E-leader thing. So. Okay. Yeah, because Goo Tripper is notably a... Uh, that was, that was one specifically of the, one of the only buff, buffs. So yeah. Goo can't partial, which means Goo has to full charge to break the shield. That's longer than Charger. I'd say it's close <laughs> being plus one, honestly, but it's, it's still a Charger. Yeah. It'll still ruin how you want to play at times. Crash Clipper, on the other hand, compared to all these charges, actually doesn't have as much damage output. Like, it's basically like getting hit with a suction, which is not as bad. It's 140 instead of 160 damage. Yeah, I think, uh... I, I, I think the classic does the worst just because point sensor armor doesn't really do anything to the Brella, but I do I put, think the yeah. suction is more annoying. I would do classic in even and the others in minus one because they still have a really fast charge time. You still have to be really... I feel like, like... You still have to be really careful fighting them, and then the other two of kits that can actually be useful, like Jet's not amazing, but Jet for Squiffer I think helps out a lot in this matchup. And then Baller is really useful for staying alive, like Squiffer will now just auto-bomb behind you so you have to worry about your shield, jump full charge, and then if you block and hit it it'll baller, then you have to deal the auto-bomb the baller, and then it's gonna break your shield and get a quick charge. It's, it's, it's a process. I'd say it's minus one for Squiffer and new Squiffer, and then classic, I'd put it even. I, whenever I fight Squiffer on, on a personal level, it's always just annoying, right? Because I feel like mm -hmm. if they miss and I kill them, I'm just like, okay, well, that was silly. But then they hit, and I feel like I messed up every time. Like, it just feels like that weird, like, like, like kind of coin flip ish weapon in the mid range sometimes, where, like, you'll either kill it or it just kills you, and this is life. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's annoying to fight. Nozzles. I, L3, I think we do great against. Yeah, I like don't really... Like, peak L3 Besides meta... I always, yeah, like, peak L3 meta... We'll talk about L3 after. Peak L3 meta, people complain about this thing so much, and I'm just sitting there thinking, like, probably go so well yeah, against these. Why does no one play it? I mean, if you, if you mess up and you have damage, you can get one burst in, and that's kind of annoying, but... That's, like, that's, uh, a, that's about it. Not... It doesn't shred shield at all. Yeah. This is a curling ball, or, like, I don't care about I'd, that. I'd say plus two. They're still solid main weapons. Like, they're no sploosh, but, I mean, I, it's not that hard. I, I do think, uh, you know, the wall hammer... Wall hammer would put that. plus one, though. Yeah. yeah. would be plus one. Yeah, Kael3's good wall... denying it. It just walls, and it gets hammered... It gets hammered so fast. Like, this is a 180p L3. It will, and it has a wall to paint. So, like, that will always have hammer. So that's why it's up there, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Uh, VH3 doesn't have a bomb, so plus two. Yeah. I mean, it's still a one-shot threat, so that's going to be better than anything in plus three. <laughs> yeah, it's a one-shot sure. threat with... Sorry, a one-shot threat with range. Sorry, crack on roller. Um, H3D and Cherry... They do better, but... H3D is a bomb, and it has armor for itself, which makes... I'd say that is better. Is it better enough to be up a tier? I don't know. 
And Cherry, same thing, both wall. I don't care about the bubbles. It, it can't pop them anyway. I would say Cherry plus two H3D, I don't know. It's, it's tricky, right? Because I feel like in terms of main yeah, weapon, the main weapon has such harder. defined end lag that makes it so hard to fight Pearl, but it has the suction and the armor, and the suction does so much damage, and H3's damage is high. Like, it's possible for well, it to break shields. Well, it can actually fight, and they can still two-shot, like, you can block the burst, but, like, if you let two shots get by, it still can kill you. Hey. I... Mm, I don't I think really I, don't know. it's it's the kind of weird thing where I think it's way better at fighting a lot of the stuff than in plus two, but I don't like think it's as bad as a lot of these plus one upbeats. Like it's like that weird awkward mid ground. I'd say I put a plus one barely. Yeah, like it. I can't it, rate it, it, it the same as from it has, plus two weapons. It has options to handle the brawl as opposed yeah. to like these two. These two kind of just have to accept what the brawl does. As I like mm -hmm. throwing wall. Squeezer. Uh, full squeezer. Plus one, V squeezer plus I put them both plus one. They're kinda like a jet with a faster kill time, but a bit less range, but a bit more mobility, and they both have annoying kids to deal with. Yes, sir. But at the end of the day, they're kinda still a shooter, and if you get near them, you'll probably still win. Like of note is uh I think like probably two years ago or something at this point, they had one patch where they increased the damage that uh squeezer deals against Brawl Shield, and that was a really big one. Made it a lot more doable. Can actually start shredding with the bomb and the the shots now. Yeah. Having having a the range tier that it does because its range is like kind of comparable to a jet, but also having the lethal bomb on foil specifically or a wall on the vanilla kind of makes it annoying to close that gap. Like it to work kind of hard if the squeezer doesn't get like called out and painted over or something. And then there's always the threat of like the bubble thing as well. Like it's still a shooter, but it, it has a lot of the options to kind of work around Brella. All right, spotlight. I think Swatlings, in, in general, just kind of struggle against Brawla, but there's like weird nuances to a lot of these. I'd say the heavies are plus two for Brawla, just mm -hmm. to get them out of the way. I, I, I do think Brawla is good at Their bullying. kits are annoying and they can avoid fighting it, but they're not going to do anything to Brawla, and if Brawla gets near them, they're screwed. So. Yeah, like, I, I always point to this as like a good example. Like, no. people people ask me, like, Keen, when's a good time to like shoot Brawla? She'll, unironically, heavy is like the one match where I think it can have the use sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. It does deal that much damage to where I'd consider well, like, it a big threat. Like, uh, it's one of those weapons it's where it's like, it, it's it's, it's damage against shield is so low. Like, if you got hit already and you're on the verge of dying, like, it's feasible to just watch a shield against, like, a heavy, I feel, compared to a lot of weapons. Yeah, they really lose the shield launch sometimes, and that's weird to say. Yeah, like, I've had, like, weird encounters like that. Like, uh, you don't see too many heavies nowadays, but, like, I'm thinking, like, back to, like, uh... You know, like on Sturgeon, like the grating on the on the side of spawn. Like I've had interactions where there's like a heavy there, and I'm like, Brawla, I'm kind of just sitting there. Okay. And it, it's, uh, it's, you can get away with a lot of stuff as Brawla. And then the other them. stuff, the other stuff, I'd say. All right, hot take. I think all of the other spawlings are plus one. Every single one. I of them? honestly, I except yeah, not Zimmy, but <laughs> sorry, not <laughs> that's not why, that's Zimmy why I was and not. <laughs> Alright, ignoring kits, all the main <laughs> weapons. So I mean we can we can split the Zimmy, the V Hydra. Not even the V Vulpin. I'd say we can zip the Zimmy and the V Hydra into plus two. But everything else I think is plus one. I I would slip the Zimmy and Hydra there and we can talk about those later, but the Mini has a good enough amount of mobility. It can spam missiles to drop the shield, it has burst bombs, it's kind of a hard to hit, and it has better range. Kimmy can miss it, which is not bad with its mobility, even though it doesn't have as much range, and it can spam stamp. Hydra does actual shield damage, mine hits through it, and it has armor, so it's kind of hard to kill a Hydra when it's set up. And it can kind of deny bomb rushes too, even if you have armor. Ball points have a good enough mobility like mini and close range, and the long range mode, while it doesn't do damage, just it lasts so long. That I feel like you can just keep peppering the Brella shield to where eventually when they have to drop shield, they'll get hit. I feel like Ballpoint's ball duration of fire is very, what's yeah. the word, De deceptive not, because it can recharge. Not fast enough and has good enough shot speed to where it can amply fight it if it's keeping its distance. And then the gold one has a suction and the vanilla one has baller to kind of stay alive. I, I do I'd think say you could the argue the, better. I, I'd say you could argue the V not as plus two actually thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, gold, gold, gold definitely does better because it is I'd say gold is one. It's, it's mid range weapon with like the best lethal, but it doesn't throw the bomb that often, but it's an option. And it it's like weird, right? Because I think Inkjet in combination with the suction actually has like a lot of damage against the barrel shield yeah. to kind of like force something. 
Yeah, so I would say Zimmy, Hydra, V, Na, plus two, everything else plus one. Like, the Brella can still shield them, it can still annoy them. The Hydra is good when set up and has a kit for it. Minis have enough mobility and good enough kits to fight it. Ballpoint has good enough mobility and versatility to annoy it enough. And Nautilus is Nautilus. You think that applies to both ballpoints? Yeah, I'd say V-Nauts. I mean, it could V-Ballpoint can still kind of mess around with Mist and annoy it because it has enough range and mobility mm -hmm. for it and pack is um, threatening enough. I I'd say it's very close to plus two, but I'd still put it like... I, I do, like, I is do, that I thing do. as bad as Tetra? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking, like, looking at, looking at Owen's, like, V-Shot, like, normal do it down here, I'm like, ah, this is more annoying. Ooh, blaster time! Oh, yeah, I love, I love weapons that got damage buff against Brawl Shield. It feels like, it feels like it just explodes sometimes. Luna, I would say, is... I would say the V Luna is arguable to be negative against Brella, but I'd say the rest are actually plus one. I'd say the rest are even, not plus one, because two indirects break shield, so, like... It's kind yeah, of matchup for you to work really hard. It does too much damage, but I'd say the vanilla Luna is the only one with the kit as well, to where I'd say it's actually minus one. So I'd say V Luna minus one, just because of the damage. One direct almost breaks shield, but it doesn't, and I'd say the others are even. Like, you still just have to respect the Luna section, and both the kits are good enough to threaten you. I do think, but I'd say neither of them are great. Hey Luna, I, Luna, don't, I don't know. Hey Luna definitely does better against, or, or has better options against Brella. Because like, Inkbind you know, and Bombers are a... good, but it's like a Luna with no bomb, so it's weird. Would you put a K Luna minus one? I mean, I could see it. I think it's weird, right? Because I don't think it's necessarily that bad. I think it just does better than Luna and Neo, just because the kid alone, like having a double fizzy bomb uh, build, which is pretty much how every K Luna plays a weapon, and just like spamming it in the general direction of the Brella is like really obnoxious for the Brella to deal with. What about K Luna even and Luna Neo plus one? I can see that. Alright, let's see that. I, I do think it just falls into that weird tier of weapon where you just need to work a lot harder than they do. Like, Brawl can still outrange and if it has really good aim, hit a two shot, mm. and it can still shield indirect just like only once. But, but by nature, or, the or Luna's gonna sit at angles you don't like. Or once heal a tiny bit and it sh shield twice, but yeah, it's still just going to be annoying. It, it just sits at those angles. Regular there. Blast, on the other hand, I think is a full-on negative matchup for both kits. Because yeah, it agree. actually it's... has the range, and it has it's much, rough. and it has less end lag. And it has a... The normal one is a solid sub, and the custom one is a solid special for... And it's not, it's not horrible, but like, I, I think... I'd say that's still minus one, just the main weapon's really good against Brella. I can agree with that. The damage buff and the uh, yeah, uh, it's they only cut off like four frames or whatever. But I always refer to that patch that made Blaster like meta relevant as like the bunny hop buff because you could just start yeah. jumping around with it and feel like you don't have that lag. Uh, range is even. That weapon's too slow to be positive. Like it has the radius and it has the range, but it's so slow. I, I, Mobility Brella can screw it over. I do think custom struggles more than both of these. The oh yeah, no, CRB better. can go down a tier, that one's uh, just terrible. totally lacks the options that these two have to harass the barrel, like a lethal bomb, uh, burst bomb behind the feet, and missiles to harass it kind of deal. Like, it feels Honestly, like... debate, I debate V-Range under, but if you run efficiency, then you can use the suction, so I'd say even yeah. is fine. But if you don't have efficiency, then range would be lower, but I, I feel like you'd at least want two yeah. shots after a bomb. Yeah, I feel like this weapon's like one of the definitive yeah. examples of like Brella can hardcore abuse weapons with terrible end lag. Like if you yeah. if you commit to a shot that's bad and doesn't do anything for you, like if you like direct the shield and CQC, I'm talking like a couple feet away, like the Brella should kill you perfectly like every time. But at the same time, now, like range, you have AoE and if you're sitting at that perfect range, then it's annoying. If range could poke it with jump shots without RNG spreading it away to where it'll either hit the shield or hit a wall or go too far away, then it would say it's positive. But because range jump RNG is so unbelievably bad. I would say it's not a reliable option. I would put it lower. You know, it's spoiler, not spoiler. I think you know then another okay. weapon over here does better. Oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> doing that. Uh, clash. Minus one. Or I, I think it's annoying. Like, <sighs> honestly, it's a matchup I used to hate, but got a lot better then. But it's still like, if it's a slope stage, you're not winning. But yeah, if it's I, a flat I, stage, it's even. I feel like you just have to accept its existence a lot of the time, but like if you're forced to fight it in some weird awkward angle, if you don't get like the perfect two or three shot, you like die or trade. Uh, it's just, annoying because it's so it's so dependent on slopes existing or not. Yeah, like if it's like, slopes, I would say it's a guaranteed positive matchup for the clash. But if it's flat ground, I'd say it's even. So I would say overall, 
I would barely put it in minus one. For the I, I feel like, hit only. I feel like the way it plays is like the, like the most... I don't know how to word it. The way that Clash plays is it goes it's so like against how Brella like wants to play. Yeah, like it just... You have a Brella, which is like a weapon that just like, you know, like shield flare, shield flare, shoot, shoot. But then you have Clash, which is like, I'm gonna stand at this angle that you can't hit and just shoot and pre-fire him and be annoying. Like, just really funny to me. I, I do think that they don't have to work too hard though, but yeah, I do think uh, it's weird because the missile helps like get it against the Brella and then I, like it, it's not gonna use like... Even the... or minus one. I don't know. Yeah, like the Liga Bomb's nice. Like, you don't have a special. Like, you know, like, if, you have, like, if you have like a Clash Neo and you like missile the Brawl and you like push and you have Caroline to like get away from it, get closer to it, whatever, like, I feel like this just misses out a bit on it. Yeah. I don't know, I'll leave it up to you wherever you put it. I didn't see you. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, oh, Rapids. Oh uh, Alright. I think it really just depends on if you have Mobility Brella or not. If you have a actual Mobility Brella set, you can close the gap against Blasters and then they'll lose for Rapid because it doesn't have a one-shot. However, if you don't have enough Mobility, Rapid will have Swim Speed and outmaneuver you, then you're going to lose. I would say mobility set is the most common one right now. Like even main saver brellas will run a little bit of it, so I would say K Rapid minus one because it has a kit. Torpedo and like Rapid's bad in CQC, but K Rapid has the, v -Rapid the potential has a kit combo. Good against it. I put V Rapid minus two as well. I put V Rapid and K Rapid at minus one. I would put Rapid Deco even, and Rapid Pro even, and then Rapid Pro. I'd say the Deco and the V Pro are the even kids, and then everything else I'd say is minus one. But I I don't think it's as bad as people think it's as a Brella Rapid player. Yeah, it always just felt like awkward to me. Like it feels like a very That's defensive. It. You know what you want to do against it, but like can't. Yeah, there. I'd say the kids play a part. Like Wall can stall out an armor, Mine can hit through it, Bomb Rush is threatening with the shield and crap. It is mobility with torpedo, free damage, baller. The the vanilla nah V R V Rapid down one. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't know. No, V Rapid Down. Yeah. yeah okay. not, not that one. Uh, v Rapid Pro. Sorry, uh, I hate these names, by the <laughs> way. I, I really hope they I get mean, rid of Rapid Pros or name them something different. Uh, at the, at the least, they'll look, they'll look different next game. I, I still. It, it's, they, it's, yeah, it's been four years. I still boot up Splatoon 2, see a normal blaster, and say, that's a range blaster. And I'm like, oh, no, it's not. It'll, yeah, they better fix it. Every, every yeah, single time. That's where it is. Blasters would be a harder counter to Brellas if they were good in this game, but I mean, eh. There's still good counters to Brella, but not as hard as people expect. I'd say it's more Chargers that are the counter class to it. Yeah, definitely, because just the existence of these weapons forces Brella to play a certain way, kind of for these as well. But like, if, if the Brella manages to like manages to sort of like sneak its way into the position it wants to be against something like Rapid, then it's just like it's, it, it can snowball so badly. But like asking a Brella to go snowball a bamboo is like you're telling the right. Brella to climb a mountain. Next up is buckets, and these are hard for the regular. Three, because if there was no latency and Brello reliably blocked sloshes that were above it and didn't have shield flare issues, then it would do a lot better against this class, but it doesn't, so. Um, buckets can. I don't know. I'd say. Well, I guess we can start with Machine, because that's probably the best one for Brello. I, I, I think. Maybe. Machine. Sure one. Yeah, it could pretty reliably fight it, honestly. I'd say it could be annoying poking, but... I, I I think we're fine against normal machine, and this machine, my issue becomes with the Kensa because of the fizzy in combination with the main one. It's overwhelming sometimes yeah. if they're willing to space. I don't think it's too difficult. The explosion of outside fizzy is still pretty low. I'd say you, Keishin maybe could be plus one, but I'd say the others are plus two for sure. Uh, What do you want to do for the normal buckets? We're not gonna turn the like to really like play here solidly because I like, you know, we're talking yeah. about the game on like on like paper here, but like in terms of the actual like game, like I don't like fighting this stuff. It's so annoying. Sometimes I feel like I just explode, but then sometimes I feel like it just misses when it shouldn't. Like it just it, it feels like inconsistent, and I, I'm honestly unsure how to feel about it. Because on paper it's like it abuses all those angles, Brawl doesn't like kind of deal. It can shoot over the shield, that kind of stuff. But like in practice. I really don't know how to feel about it. I do feel like Bucket Deco is like the most forgettable of the three because your baller's pretty like who cares your brawler. 
but like these yeah, two have the legal bonds. Yeah, I think Bakadeko should be lower than the other two. Yeah, but that, that's what I know for sure. Still, you can still fight it pretty fine. I gotta add on my fighting bucket deck, especially I'd say, in the state. I'd but... say soda even for sure. Yeah, I can get so behind even, that. Yeah. I can get behind it. Deco would be plus two. I... Yeah, not plus two. Is it really that? Mm. Oh, bucket main open, but the kit does no favors against Brawl at all. I'd no rank hesitation. it with V bucket and put it in plus one, honestly. I don't think it's that bad. I'd say V bucket's slightly better, but not a whole tier. Yeah, okay. I think try is a negative matchup. Yeah, I don't like it. You have to work really hard, and a lot of time you just end up trading. It it can really easily hit over shield. It's not that hard. The, Both the buff, of them have good kits. The buff they gave it were the consistent fire. It was like cut off by like two frames in between sloshes. Like that just made it so much harder to not trade with. <laughs> like it was already hard to not yeah. trade, but feels like if a try it's exists on top of me. It's way too hard with it, and the thing is, try likes trade source. Even if you reliably trade with it, it's like the try more often than not will want to trade, whereas the Brella kind of doesn't want to die. Yeah. But I'd say they're both minus one. Yeah, they they have kits that are good for how to get two. Mm, the armor can let it brute force, and it has a lethal bomb and rain. Mm -hmm. Very cheap range of that. Explo. That's a hard one to rank. It's, yeah, it's really. The kits aren't threatening, it doesn't do a lot of shield damage. But like, it's... But it can reliably chip it around the shield. Yeah, it's really gonna painting behind Brella, which is one of mm -hmm. its weaknesses. But the main weapon, like, will never, like, you know, like, win a 1v1, like, CQC, that kind of deal. But, like, I feel like it enables its teammates to fight it way more easily. I'd say it's even because it kind of puts not as good pressure as Charger out, but still can prevent Brella from trying to do stuff it likes to do, just not as well yeah, as like, Charger it, can. It keeps it in check. Yeah. That, that's the extent of it. Like, it's like awkward, you know, like, I bet someone's gonna look at this and be like, how is Exposure even? Like, you just get on top of them in two shots. But, like, yeah, the thing about the, the state, like, the state of the game, like, you know, if you're not in that point, if you're playing, like, camp or whatever, like, the extreme example of an expo behind wall or on top of wall in your umbrella, like, <laughs> you the more range. want to exist. I'd say the more range it has, the more important is, like, oh, can this disrupt umbrella when it's just in neutral versus. Like, it's like, obviously, anything with range, if you run it down, will die. That's how backlines work. So. Yeah. So it's more just gonna disrupt it. It's like, eh, I would rather fight an Expo than fight a Charger. Oh, definitely, but no question. I would, would I fight a Spiling over it? Nah, I'd rather, I'd rather fight a Spiling than fight an Expo, unless definitely. it's a Tiger, maybe. The worst is when you, uh, you block a shot and it doesn't even like hit you necessarily, but they like they they paint around your feet like perfectly because of how the shot like explodes. It's the worst. Lob. Uh. That's similar to Expo. It kind of just exists. I'd but say I, it's still neutral, like it still really ruins Bella, yeah, like, it still does good damage, but I, the kits are reliable, it's hard I don't like to kill Blob. Yeah, I'd it, say it's zero. It's, it's existence, like it just, okay. it's, it's one of those, it's literally Expo, where it's just like, it's, if I see one of the enemy team, I'm like, it may not kill me, but it's, it's, it's gonna annoy the heck out of me when I'm trying to do stuff. Yeah, I'm just more likely to go wherever it's not if I'm fighting so it, 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 I think the, the kits are very like... And like anti brella ish because yeah. you have the wall and then the one that just spams bombers every like 15 seconds. It's just annoying. Yeah, I know. So. That leaves the other brellas. Let's do undercover. Um, let's do you undercover. Get undercover? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Plus three matchup. Let's put the under. <laughs> We're gonna add the last plus three. I think Thunder can actually fight normal brella, so we'll do Thunder. Uh, Thunder plus. Two or one. I think if you're proficient about shooting out of the, tor the torpedo fat, like all, all you have to realize about fighting Condor with normal Brella is Condor's damage against Brella, like Brella has a decent multiplier against itself, but Condor's damage is so bad that like you could just hold the shield open forever. Matter, yeah. yeah, like it just it just does, doesn't break. Like I if you say Condor plus two, then yeah, like, it kind of shines. So. The, tor the torp's annoying and the armor's like kind of annoying, but like it, if you're just willing Thunder to play patient, hold hand. the shield. It's just like nothing. Thunder has a bomb for damage. It's got light baller. It, it can kind of fight because of its kit, so I'd say Thunder is plus one. Yeah, like, can... I think it has just a good chance as K Shot does, it, honestly. It's good at prolonging the fight against Brella by its yeah. own. Like, a lot, actually. Like, like, yeah, I agree. I'd say the bomb just gives it the way to actually threaten to break shield. On top of that, um, it's a really ink efficient weapon with bomb. Yeah. So it can still shoot for a while after throwing bomb. Tents are hard to say because the kit absolutely destroys tents like the bomb rush mm -hmm. is great against them but now that Bre so before i'd say this is kind of like even because like ah oh, the brella just plays for special and you'll be fine 
Yeah, but now Brawl is 200 instead on, of 180. On, on top of that, Brawl's, don't run Brawl's damage and, nerf, actually. I think it takes like before, one more shot. Before, whenever you fought Tent, you would just run a three-main charge up set, and you would just bomb rush the Tent every time in a team fight, and then the Tent would die, and you would play the 4v3, and you would win. Mm -hmm. So, but now, because you can't really do that anymore, like, even if you have LD charge up and it all activates, you still can't really get that much bomb rushes. It's better to just play Splash. I would say... I'd say they're all minus one. Actually, I'd say Camo's minus two, but the others are Hammer, minus one. Yeah. I, I think, uh, Hammer and mine. Mine's good against a two. You can't count that out. It's also the the thing with damage nerf on Brawl when they changed the maximum from 90 to 81. It actually changed some yeah, of the benchmarks. Yeah, and it harder to break shield. Yeah, because the thing with normal Brawl is you could, like... I think, like, pre-patch, you could shoot at it you know, assuming no MP or whatever, because people start running that after, but I think before you could get, like, two full damage shots, open the shield till they clank, and it would break the tent shield. So it was a cool way to, like, check it and, like, force it to, like, break so they can't, like, push a certain angle or whatever. But, like, I think it's, like, three shot plus that now. It's it's just, like, it feels like I'd a worse say, option. I'd also say Camo's not only the, only the only one that has, like, a good, like, a, the other two have fine kits against Brella, but Camo's kit not only counters normal Brella, but it also counters its special, because you could eat Bomb Rush. No, not normal yeah. Camo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because camo, like, something that actually happened in Scrum recently is there was a camo and he shield launched for the Rainmaker, so I went to bomb rush it, and then he used hammer inside the shield to eat mm. all the bombs before they touched it. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> I, I, I think that's one of the coolest things about camo specifically, right? Because, you know, one yeah, of the Yeah, like, the hammer plus 10 shield is the most yeah, annoying Yeah, because one of the best <laughs> answers to 10 shield is bomb rush, but then you just have the special that eats it, and you're just like, yeah. oh, well, now what? I'd say, like, Brella gets countered by 10. But tank can get countered by Brella special, but Camo's ca special can counter Brella special. <laughs> we have come full circle, and the yeah, tank still comes out nice, of like, Your nice little weapon triangle. Yeah. Well, weapon. More like a staff, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Alright, well, I can't think of anything that I'd want to change besides maybe Sidra in neutral, but that's the only thing I can think of adjusting at the end, unless if you have anything in mind. Yeah, so I just weird because I feel like the maps you pick it on are generally like harder for the brawl to get on. So I mean, that might be like partially a map thing. But like, you know, I think Sarge are just okay against brawl, but it's still like the thing, right? Where like, if the brawl yeah. manages to like get on top of you, then you're doomed because your charge time is too long and you're really clunky. But you know, in the neutral state, it's you, you can do fine against brawl. A lot, a lot of these weapons fall into that really. It's just like when is the brawl engaging you kind of thing. If you have like a super defined period of like downtime or like end lag or whatever, like brawl can really abuse that if it gets what it wants. Okay. A lot of the bottom well, trees just can't, can't deal with it straight up. Yeah, you just don't. <laughs> <laughs> you lack the options. Do we want to move V-Jet up? Because I don't feel it's as bad. Yeah, or... like, I don't think okay, high, do I, I don't up. think super highly of this, but like, it's just not the same tier as these. Yeah, it's not I'll check on that. i uh, move it with the other shoes. Eh, alright. I think we're good there. Yeah. Alright. Well, this has been fun. Um... Any of Keen's viewers don't know who I am, you can check out my link in the description. I yeah, plug make you, YouTube course. content on everything Splatoon <laughs> related. So. Yeah, hope you guys had a fun watching the video, and I'm gonna throw in the part here where I say something, something, something about subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get the channel to grow. Because I'm still a very, very bappy channel. I'm starting to upload like edited content on YouTube that's like cut down from my stream. So you know, if we get the ball rolling on that, I'll be more encouraged to make more videos like this one, just in general. Go sub.